Hello guys, today I will be reviewing this Colombian midfielder for Inter Milan, that is Freddy Guarín. I put him at centre mid in 4-4-2 in my Serie A squad. It cost me 64 grand, it costs about 60 to 70k depending on formation and position. And in the centre mid, like I said, here are his in-game stats. Some brilliant all-round in-game stats, a mix of green, dark green and yellow. Stand out there is 93 uh, long shots and 99 shot power. It's insane. Three star weak foot, two star skills, not the best. Um, that is disappointing. And he's got decent physical attributes, which include 90 strength and really good mental attributes on him. So, um, yeah, good in the game stats there. First of all, we'll talk about his passing. I did like his passing, I thought it was pretty good. His short passing, his long passing. I didn't have any problems with it, so um, yeah, we can play some through balls. If you have him at centre attacking mid, he can just dictate the play if you have him centre defensive mid. So um, yeah, and his dribbling is actually pretty good, his dribbling, but obviously he's only got two star skill moves, and that is a real downer. Anyway, moving on into his defensive work, I find his defence is really, really good, so he would make a good centre defensive mid. His interceptions are awesome. Stand tackles are good, slide tackles are good, and he, he just does seem to be there to clean things up. So, you know, he could play a variety of positions in midfield, like I said, and this is just typical of him. Stealing the ball, playing a nice one-two with the striker, and then rifling it into the bottom-hand corner. His shooting is really, really good. Look at this for a long shot. This is his first goal I scored with him. It was an amazing goal. Callanan in off the post uh, to win the Gold Cup final, I think, for me. So... His short range and his long range shooting are really good and you can't really feel that shot power behind him. However, his left foot is not that great. You just can't feel that same power behind it. I don't think I managed to score with his left foot. It wasn't the best, to be honest. The just typical work of him. Just charging forwards, driving force in midfield. And the keepers just can't catch his shot. He's got good free kick stats, you know, driven free kick, 89 free kick accuracy, 99 shot power. I didn't get to try out his free kicks, unfortunately. Obviously, his two-star skills isn't that great, but his dribbling's good, and he can, you know, just force his way through defensive with his 90 strength. That's really good. He doesn't get knocked off the ball easily, so that's good as well. And comparing him to his not in form, his shooting is definitely better, but otherwise, just feels like the same player. No doubt he's a good player, but he just feels the same other than his shooting, to be honest. So his strengths were his long shot, his defending. Work rates worked well, strong, and he's got good set pieces and decent dribbling. Weaknesses are his two-star skill moves, his left foot, and it's just not much of a difference compared to his not-informed card, but I'll give him an 8.5 out of 10 rating. He's a really good player. He's not worth the extra 60 to 70k more, but um, he's a goddamn good player, guys, so thanks for watching this review. If it's helped you out, please leave a like. Follow me on Twitter at LukuGGPaz, and also please subscribe to my channel to keep up with videos. It's free. <laughs> thanks for watching, guys. Have a good day. Goodbye.